to add animation to your website you just come to this animate.css and choose the type of animation that you want the, the container to have you pick it from here whatever animation you want to have just click on it as you see it will, there will be a demo and it shows you how the element will be animated for example if we want to add animation to our header I'll just come to this one and add this to our header so this is our header container and I will add this to our class to this column the first column uh, before you add the animation class you add start with wow class wow and then you add the whatever the class is here in this case it's bounce and lift so it will bounce and it will come from the left side bounce and lift you make sure that you add the exact spelling otherwise the animation will not work let's refresh the page and see if our animate works you guys see the animation works the other thing that you can add is the time how long you want this to wait and then start coming in and that will be with data wow delay here you can add the number of seconds that you want your animation to wait, wait before it happens so let's have add one second if we refresh the page the animation will wait for one second and it will happen after one second So you guys have noticed that the animation this time it was longer and it was because of the duration that we gave it. So let's add animation to all the elements that we want to be animated in our website. On the header section we want to animate the left container and the right container for the left container I will put wow bounce in left and for the right container I want the same thing to happen but this should come from the right let's refresh the page and see there we go now it's time to add animation to our service section I will choose the fit in animation from the left side to the service section so to do that you just write wow and then the animation name I'll copy this class to all of our columns to the columns that hold our content or our widgets put it there this column for this column let's see if the animation is applied refresh as you guys see it fits in from the left to the right but we don't want them to fit in all at the same time so we have to add some duration time that they can fit in one after another to do that we need to add the the delay the data wow delay and then give it the duration of 1.8 second for the first column to fit in let's copy this to all our columns 
for this one we want this to fit in in 1.4 second and the third column we want this to fit in in 1 0 0.8 second 0.8 second and for this one to fit in in 0 0.4 second let's see this looks good so they fit in one after another now it's time to add animation to our pricing section we add the animation to our columns we simply add the class of wow and for this one I chose the flip and the flip and Y animation let's copy this to all our columns the four columns that we have in this section save the page refresh we need to add a duration so it flips like one after another like our service section to give it duration as we did with the service section we add data wow delay for this section we give it for the first one we give it 0 0.8 second For our next column, we give it 1.2 second. For our third column, we give it 1. Point, 1.6 second. And for our last column, we give it 2 second. Let's refresh the page. As you guys see, it flips one after another. For this one, we simply add the animation to our columns that holds our content. I chose the same animation that we put for the service section. Wow fit and lift. Let's copy this to all our classes. And we need to give it a data duration. For the first one, we give it two seconds. Let's copy this to the rest of our columns. this one we give it 1.6 give it 1.2 and we give it 0 0.8 let's refresh the page The next section that we want to animate is the client section. 
we want all the logos to fit in one after another. And we need to give it a data delay. First one, we give it two seconds. Let's copy this to the rest of the columns. For the second one, we give it 1.6 seconds. For the third one, we give it 1.2 seconds. For the last one, we give it 0 0.8 second. Let's see our client section. As you guys see, it fits in one after another. For the contact form, I chose fit up animation for our in input fields. And we add the animation to our input group div. Simply we add a wow and then fit up. Simply add wow fit in up. Let's Simply add fed in up. Let's copy this to the rest of our input fields. We want to give the same animation to our text area and our button. We simply add the data wow delay. Let's copy this to all our input fields. For this one, we give it 1.4, 1.2 second. For the third one, we give it 1.6 second. For our text area, we give it 2 second. And for our button, we give it 2.4 second. Let's check them out. There we go. It looks good. They fit one after another. In our demo website, we also had animation for our H2 tags and the paragraph tags. So we are going to add animation to all our H2 tags and the paragraph tags in every section. Let's go to our text editor. We give the h2 tag in our service a class and then we add our animation and they all will be fed up animation. Wow, fed in up. Let's copy this to all our h2 tags in every section.
the next thing is to also add animation to our paragraph tags in every section in our section we add a class to our paragraph and we give it the class of wow fed in up and we need to give it a data wow delay so they fed up right after our h2 tag in 0 0.4 second let's copy this to all our paragraphs in our sections Let's refresh the page and see if the animation works with all the elements in our sections. Command, Command S, save our page, and let's refresh it. Okay, as you guys see, our paragraphs are also animated. Same with this section, and same with this section, with our client section too and also with our contact form. We are done with adding the animation section and with this one our tutorial ends here. Thank you very much for watching the tutorial. Please subscribe to my channel and I have a lot of other cool tutorials which are coming pretty soon and to get notified subscribe so that way you will learn when the first, when the next tutorial is out please like share and comment and if you think that i can improve making tutorials or whatever things that you see that you find interesting and useful so you can write it down in the comment section and i will make sure that we will apply it for the next tutorial and follow me on Twitter and I will put my Twitter uh, link down below you can follow me on Twitter thank you very much see you next time